I've got various parting off tools for this mini lathe. This is one, uh, an HSS tool that came in a set and it is 3.15mm wide which is really too wide for this lathe, too much downwards force is exerted on, on the tool by the workpiece. And then I've got this, which is narrower, 2.2 millimetres wide, and an insert, which is quite nice. But on the other hand, it has this auxiliary mounting, which has the effect of pushing it um, at least a centimetre to the left, which is uh, not desirable because we don't want this overhang here. And then I've got this one, which is even narrower. 1.7 millimetres but it only fits in this old aluminium tool holder which I, which I had I started off with an aluminium quick change tool post this one is a steel one um, so this doesn't fit on there um, and I thought well I'll make one of these that will fit on here uh, out of steel this one works quite well because of its extreme narrowness, even though it has no taper here, so there's no clearance, and I, I dare not grind any more off this, because otherwise it might break, but it works quite well. So my project today is to make this uh, an equivalent of this tool holder that will fit on this dovetail. Squared that up. This is 20 thou of depth of cut at 540 RPM. So I've roughed out that slot and I'm about to use my 60 degree dovetail cutter to cut the dovetails. This is actually only the second time in my life that I have ever used a dovetail cutter. The first time was when I made this, which is just a little um, mounting for the video camera, yeah, made of aluminium. And uh, as I used the dovetail cutter to cut this dovetail along here, it, as it got to this end it started digging in to the base here and I thought that's odd, I feel sure I milled this absolutely flat and of course then I realised that, uh, that uh, on a dovetail, 60 degree dovetail cutter 
most of the force is downwards, trying to pull the dovetail out of the collet. And either I hadn't done the collet up tightly enough, or I hadn't uh, uh, locked the column or the quill properly. So that's a lesson with, with all cutters, but particularly dovetail cutters, is lock everything up in the z-axis tightly. So we'll try that this time. This is half a millimetre depth of cut. something in the gearing up here which makes that thumping uh, sound. It's nothing to do with the cutter per se. It's going around much faster than that. Well, I was happily cutting this dovetail, um, milling uh, backwards and forwards along here, alternately conventional milling and climb cutting. And it seemed to be going okay. Uh, and then, as uh, the last time it was milling along this way, I looked at it and I thought, well, I think the bottom of the dovetail cutter is, is beginning to touch this surface here, which it wasn't doing before and it shouldn't do. Um, so I stopped it to have a look. And in the course of moving uh, the workpiece around, I think I had the dovetail cutter about here, a bit further up this way uh, than it had ever cut. Um, and then I'm uh, inadvertently I moved the workpiece that way and thus crashed the dovetail cutter into this edge here. And you can see the distortion just there. Um, and as a result of that, it dug in even really viciously like that, as you can see here. Um, <clears throat> uh, I was surprised it didn't actually break the dovetail cutter, but uh, presumably what it did, it either pulled the dovetail cutter down uh, out of the collet, or maybe it lifted this corner of the workpiece up a bit, thus enabling it to dig in down there or something else. But anyway, that was my mistake. Um, so I still haven't succeeded in using a dovetail cutter without it uh, beginning to touch the bottom surface here. And then I made it a lot worse by just uh, a mistake whilst I was investigating it. Well, we've got the dovetail. I've also mashed up this surface here, which luckily does not matter because when it goes into the quick change tool pose, it's this surface, these surfaces that align it. So it goes on like that. And this back, this surface that I've mashed up doesn't touch anyway. That's going to be all right. It's just I still haven't learned how to do dovetails correctly, but that doesn't matter.
last I finished this it turned out to be you know, quite a bit more uh, complicated than uh, I actually thought um, and I've blued it, cold blued it because I don't want it to rust one thing I forgot to do is to put the height adjusting screw in and looking at it I think that this piece of metal here is too thin to put a screw in, it would weaken it too much. Um, although I've taken care to have plenty of metal around the place, that, um, a screw down there would be a bad idea. So what I did was um, I just put it on the lathe and uh, worked out where centre height was and then I just put a bit of Paxlin, I think this is, glued on so that when I put it on the lathe it, it comes to centre height uh, automatically. And that will have to do for the meantime. Well, I suppose we should see if it works. This is a small piece of aluminium, just to make it easy. I wish it wouldn't do that. Mm. Makes it all the more difficult. If I could use two fingers, uh, two hands on this, I could do it more steadily, but I've got to hold the WD-40 with the other one. All right to me. Of course, I drilled a small hole in the center just so that I didn't have to go right to the center. However, aluminium is easy, isn't it? I wonder if we can do this with uh, 316 stainless. Well, this is 316 stainless. It looks as if it's been flame cut, judged by the color there. I'll just turn that outside off. Right. We'll drill a little hole in it. Do it. Can we do this? I don't know. So I've done a lot of work hardening. have to back off to avoid it work hardening.
just being gentle, you see. Lovely noise, isn't it? It's amazing one would have thought that it was through by now. Mount Bad didn't drill the hole deep enough. Well, that worked, up to a point if you ignore the noise, the bit that was cut, right, there's the bit that was on there, didn't quite, well, very nearly cut the whole of it off, looks okay to me. So it works with uh, 3162. Although it takes rather a long time, doesn't it? So I'm happy with that.